In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can transform a regular photo into a comic book. So let's get started. So before we start, I would like to say that we just passed 10,000 subscribers on Tutorials Junction and that is awesome and it would not have been possible without your support. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. I will keep bringing new tutorials and one day we will make it 100,000. So till then enjoy the new tutorial. See to do this effect first of all we need to open an image. So for that you can go to file and open this image and if you want to use the same image the download link is in description. It's free so use it and then double click on your background layer and unlock it. After that you need to duplicate it. Now you can press ctrl J it will duplicate it or you can drag on this little icon here and it will duplicate it. So once is enough. Now uh, we need to crop it. So grab your crop tool and this time make sure you have selected the crop pixel if you want to get rid of the background permanently. I'm gonna make it look something like a passport so that seems fine and we also need to remove this for the effect. So that looks fine and a little bit here. Enter. So the image looks fine to me. Now select your selection tool so it's just simple. Now uh, select layer 0 copy, right click and convert it to smart object. Now if you have CS4 or 5 or some older version it will not work but you can still follow it. You just won't be able to edit it after applying it. So it's still possible okay. Now once it is in smart object it will show you this little icon here. So then go to filter and go to filter gallery. Now in the filter gallery we need poster ages so where is it here and in the value I want one one and also one here so it will make it look something like this now if your image is low resolution high resolution this numbers will change just keep it the way you like it okay so hit ok seems fine now we need to duplicate it again so I'm gonna press ctrl J and this time double click on this filter gallery and instead of that one uh, I'm gonna make it two sorry zero so we have bigger uh, portion here see on the one you have more details uh, on the zero you have lesser so hit ok now once it is done uh, change the blending mode to soft light so where is it so the basic layout is ready and I know it is ridiculously dark but I will uh, show you a way to get rid of that. So that seems nice. Now we need to create those dots that we see in every comic book effect and that makes it look really like good. So for that create a new layer and then go to your channels option and if you don't have channels you can go to windows and find your channels here. So so once you are inside the channels like this, uh, make sure you have uh, like pressed your control key and if you are on a Mac, uh, hold down your command key. Uh, while holding that, click on this thumbnail here. So it will make a selection something like this. And then go back to your layers panel. Now make sure you have select, uh, created this new layer. Uh, and now we need to inverse it because we want selection on her and not on the outside as you can see here. So go to your select and inverse it. So it's only on her. Then uh, grab your paint bucket tool and make sure your color is black and fill it. Looks dark I know but we'll do it properly. Now once the color is filled in uh, go here on this little icon here and apply a layer mask. So it will look something like this. Now this layer mask is uh, white on the inside and black on the outside. So we need to invert that. So select this and press Ctrl I. So it is inverted. After that stay with me I know it's a little complicated but the output is worth it. So now make sure you have selected your layer mask not the image the layer mask as you can see it is different. So select your layer mask then go to filter pixel it and go to color halftone. Now remember the bigger the number the bigger the dots will be. So I'm kind of fine with 10 to 12 so let's try 10 and you do not need to change anything in here so hit ok. And if you zoom in you can see that it looks uh, really good but it's darker but the output looks really neat as you can see it's darker on dark part it's lighter on light part that is why we had to do all those trouble in selecting channels and stuff so it looks really good balanced. Now once it is done we need to create a border like we have in comic book. So create a new blank layer and never forget to create blank layers before doing this sort of stuff. So create a new blank layer, select your marquee tool and make a selection. 
now once the selection is ready on the border right click and select uh, oops right click and select stroke and in the stroke I'm gonna go with white color and instead of 75 let's make it 100 again if you have different image the numbers will be different just experiment and I'm keeping it in the center so hit OK it is not very visible but you can see it down here but I'm gonna show you a way so now double click here and apply a stroke where is it here so as you can see we had that white border and now we have this black stroke so it will give it kind of feeling of a comic book so make it as deeper as you want uh, it's your personal choice now I'm gonna press ctrl D to get rid of the selection so we have that real passport type feeling and that looks nice it is not comic book until you have kind of a bubble talk bubble so for that go here and select uh, this is a uh, shape tool so in the shape tool you have to select this custom shape tool and in the shapes if you don't have this type of let's reset it first so you can see the normals so your will look something like this then go here and here you have talk bubbles so here and select append so you do not lose the old one so I'm gonna select this regular talk bubble so seems fine and then just draw a bubble and while drawing it hold down your shift key so it looks proper and the, you don't screw up the shape nothing else okay it seems fine now if you had a green blue or any other background this bubble would be enough but since it's a white background uh, once you select something like this uh, the final output doesn't look very good the bubble fades in with the white background so there's a solution for that double click on your bubble and select a stroke and I know this is quite a bit painful while working with shapes that it constantly shows you this weird border I don't know what to do with that but nah, deal with it uh, so that seems fine and good now we need to add some text so create again a new blank layer select your text tool and let's type in something so let's type in hey sexy because she looks kind of like in that pose so I'm gonna make it bigger like that and since it's white we cannot see it so let's double click and make it black and that seems fine now that's too big so let's make it smaller uh, I always use Control T for making it smaller instead of going in all that manual stuff so this seems fine and that's good so hey sexy and seriously don't get excited she's lesbian just kidding <laughs> I don't even know her okay so <laughs> it's just some random stock I found on the event art so use it and let's move on to the tutorial okay and that seems fine so basic layout is ready and I think I would make the stroke even a little bigger so 5 pixels seems fine and so that's good and let's select both of them and make them combined and, and make them both smaller so that's that's working for me so the basic layout is ready and now all we have to do is just some texturing and coloring so create a new blank layer and fill in any color anything just anything and then double click on it and select a pattern overlay so where is it here and in the patterns uh, you have this really awesome so let's reset it first uh, okay so normally it would look something like this but go in and select artistic surface and select a pan so you have this really cool patterns so I'm selecting this one and then uh, 100 or maybe uh, 239 seems fine to me and hit OK right click and make it rasterize so now you have created a texture inside Photoshop without any like third-party plugins so that's awesome and then change the blending mode to let's say darken so you have this texture in the background and it makes it look really great now duplicate this thing by pressing ctrl J and this time change the blending mode to soft light so as you can see now we don't have that really black dress problem and it looks more comic bookish and awesome so the it's ready and now we need to do some coloring like tinting so create a new solid layer from here and in the solid uh, select any kind of dark blue color like really dark closer to the black and hit ok and then change the blend mode to exclusion so here and now again go back and make it even darker until the color is like as per your taste so that seems fine 
so the coloring part is ready and now we need to add that contrast because if you look at the comic books uh, they have this really high contrast to look so go to vibrance and add make it 100% so it will give it that colorful feeling you have normally and you can also bump in some saturation it's comic book so a little bit uh, funky colors would work actually even better so the final effect is ready and if you zoom in and let's see the after before so this is the original one and this is the comic book effect and let's look at it side by side so that looks actually really amazing so if you learned something from this video hit that like button so i can know and you can also click on that right box to learn how to make a face totally from text or you can click on the left box to learn how to make a face totally from smoke both are awesome tutorials and you can also subscribe to my channel so you get update every time i upload a new video and you can go to my channel and check out all the awesome free tutorials so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop